Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over video codecs in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, here are pretty much the four main codecs, and then also H.264 um, is another codec. But in this video, I want to go or cover primarily ProRes. Now, the reason you want to have or you know, go over what ProRes really is, ProRes is a minimally, a minimally compressed file. Now you may ask yourself, why in the world would I use um, ProRes? Well, if you didn't know, let's say I have a video right here, this is a video right here, and then I export an H.264. That works perfectly fine for YouTube, social media, Instagram. However, I can't take that H.264 um, file, put it back into Final Cut Pro, and then export it back, back into H.264. It's already too compressed. So what you want to do is anytime you make a, um, a project, always export it in ProRes, because that ProRes file can then be put back into Final Cut and then you can re-edit it and then you could export an H.264. Basically at the end of the day, H.264 is is the, the file is too compressed to put it back into Final Cut and export it as H.264. So it's always good to have a um, ProRes file because it's a super uncompressed file and it just gives you um, a lot more freedom. Now this from my understanding is the most popular ProRes codec which is Apple ProRes 422HQ and it basically you can see right here as a 422 and a 10-bit um, uh, color space right there so it's definitely you know highly recommended so I think at, at the end of the day you probably want to use ProRes 422HQ and then these you know can definitely be used I believe when I understand the colors are a lot better but in terms of quality they're, mo they're not much difference between um, this ProRes file right here now when it comes to recording videos on your camera, you often have three um, different examples. You have H.264, you have ProRes um, 422HQ, and then you have RAW. Obviously it ranks RAW is the best, ProRes is the second best, and then H.264 is the worst out of all three when it comes to recording um, in camera. But keep in mind, anytime you're going to use a file like this, you're going to use a ProRes file or a ProRes HQ file, um, like recording from your camera, you're going to need a really expensive SD cards. From what I understand, it costs hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get SD cards that can, you know, store ProRes files. So when it comes to recording videos, just think of it this way. RAW is the best, ProRes is the second best, and then H.264 is the worst compared to all three of those um, right there. Now you may ask yourself, how do you set this as like your project setting? Um, whether how do you set ProRes as your project setting? What you want to do is you want to click on Command N, where basically you're creating a new project. So um, name this one Hype Video right here. As you can see, everything looks um, normal. Now this is the most important part when it comes to codec, and this is where you choose um, your codec right here. So as you can see, I just have it on Apple ProRes 422. In theory, I could probably use Apple ProRes 422 HQ, but I'm just going to use the standard um, for um, Final Cut. But always make sure that you, when you're working on a project, you ask the person what codec they want. They may want a 422, 422 LT, uh, 422 HQ. You have to remember, like, ask them, you know, which uh, codec um, they want because it's, I'm sure it's all different. I haven't done any like television or you know commercials for TV, so I have no idea what codec um, they use. But it's always good to ask somebody to make sure you're using the right codec. But as you can see here, are all the different codecs. As you can see, basically it ranks like this. So the first place, second place, third place, fourth place fifth place and then uncompressed is very rare you would very use very rarely use an uncompressed 10 bit 422 color space but obviously there are circumstances i think for like theaters and stuff like that they may have uncompressed 10 bit 422 um, color space but i can't guarantee that because i've never um exported videos for a theater but basically at the end of the day if this is all confusing choose apple ProRes 422 hq or apple ProRes 422 this one is better, this one is the second best. These don't really make that much of a difference from what I understand. I believe they're more, they just have better um, colors. But as you can see right here, use this one or this one. These two are the best right here. And I'm just gonna stick with Apple ProRes um, 422. But again, you could obviously use Apple ProRes 422 um, HQ. Okay, you may ask yourself, okay, how do I export it using the right codec? So what you want to do is you want to click on Command E for export right here, and then you want to go to settings right here. So I showed you how to set up the project in the right codec, but as you can see right here, there we go. Now here is the video codec for exporting. This is not for creating a project, this is for exporting your video. So this determines what uh, your video codec is going to be. So here are all the video codecs um, right here. Now as you can see, here is the 444. 
basically at the end of the day the top three h.264 this codec right here is used for youtube instagram TikTok. you want to use this compression for social media or uploading to youtube and so on and so forth basically just social media right here and as you can see right here you have these two right here which basically like i said before the only two you really want to focus on at the end of the day you probably just want to use 422 hq because it is um the best quality but let's say if you're exporting directly to youtube or directly to social media export in this codec but if you're just exporting the file and you may put it back into final cut you want to export as a prores file because it's very little compressed like i said before you can't put an h.264 um file back into final cut not going to work or let's say you're working on like a big project and you have to send this file to like multiple different people like colorists motion graphics vfx artists you're sending this video to multiple different people and multiple different computers you want to use apple prores hq if you're trying to send this to a colorist do not send them an h.264 codec it's way too compressed and it's going to look absolutely awful so either send them an apple prores 422hq or an apple prores 422 at the end of the day this is probably the file you're going to send if you basically if you intend to maybe re-edit the file put it back into final cut or you're sending this file to multiple different um people and it's not going directly to um the web or directly to youtube or uh social media as you can see right here, here are all the different video codecs. Now I will put a link to this PDF um, down in the description below because there's a lot more um, about these ProRes files, but these are basically the four main ones. And I've ranked it one, two, three, four. So this is the worst out of all four of them. And again, I'll put the link to the PDF down in the description below so you can read more about um, video codecs. I'm in no way you know, I'm an expert in video codecs. I'm just sharing you with I'm just sharing what I know about video codecs. But as you can see right here, the Apple ProRes 422 codec. This is basically like the minimal ProRes file right here. So you can see right here, this is everything for the Apple ProRes 422. Here is everything for the Apple ProRes 422 HQ. As you can see, a 422 10-bit um, color space uh, right there. As you can see right here, here are the last two. So you have Apple ProRes 444, an extremely high quality version of ProRes. Basically, this is just a lot better than the HQ. But from what I understand, the only main difference is the color space. So as you can see, this has a, four, a 422. This one has uh, a 444. So it's you know, a little bit better in terms of coloring. Uh, so that's what the example right here. And then from what I understand, this is the best version of ProRes. So maybe you're working with massive files and you're working on a really big project you probably want to either use uncompressed or this massive ProRes file because it's the highest quality um, ProRes file right there so here it is the first one the second one right here the third one and the fourth one um, right here and that's pretty much it so basically at the end of the day you should always export a final version of your work using Apple ProRes 422 or Apple ProRes uh, 422 HQ codec uh, this will be the highest quality of video file and then you may want to edit it again later and if you're planning on editing it again later or sending this project to multiple different people you want to use um, a ProRes file and then obviously if you're just exporting it like right from Final Cut to social media use an H.264 codec so for like YouTube um, Instagram and social media I know this video probably was all over the place hopefully you got the basic idea of video codecs basically at the end of the day if you're exporting a video to social media if you're exporting a video to social media right here you want to use h.264 for social media if you want to maybe edit this again or re-edit this use an apple ProRes. or if you're sending this file to multiple people and you're not uploading it directly to youtube then export an apple ProRes 422 hq so either social media or you're just exporting the file to maybe re-edit again or edited by somebody else and that's pretty much it um, right there so hopefully that made sense I'm in no way an expert so if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below and I'll answer them to the best of my ability I'll put the link to this PDF um, down in the description below so you can read more about it I just want to show you an overview of all four of the main um, Apple ProRes codecs now keep in mind this doesn't work with Windows Premiere Pro this only works um, with Apple so if you don't have Final Cut you don't have a Mac your ProRes doesn't mean um, anything so it only works with people with Final Cut or people that have or edit videos on a MacBook or an iMac anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button 
Also, a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 230 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.